<laughs> got there in the end. Oh my god, that boss fight was a nightmare! After the first, the last episode, I did die. <laughs> it did kill me. Because he just kept spamming tremor and uh, healing every other turn. So, it just kept wearing me down until I died, really. It's kind of the same with this one, although luckily this this time around it didn't use Tremor as much. It did heal quite a bit though. Jeez. <sighs> that was nasty. That was nasty. Thankfully, it's dead. <laughs> it is not going to get much worse than that, is it? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Whoa, new attack shock blade? Okay, cool. Is it over? Are we done? Can I take a nap? How's it look? We got problems all over. So <laughs> you don't say radar system is down. I bet the emitter's completely fried now. The generator output keeps on dropping. I guess we ran the ship into the hyperspace column walls a few times too many, thanks to a certain idiot who flies like a maniac. What? Hey, who do you think it was that saved us? I wish you'd consider what the navigator has to go through. I'm getting carpal tunnel thanks to you. Why don't you just direct link it? Isn't it obvious? It's way cooler to navigate by hand. Are you stupid or something? Mind your own business. At least I'm more useful than a certain out-of-control lunatic. Oh, okay now. So you think you're the man, huh? You wanna go? What you got? Bring it on. That's okay. enough. Both of you morons, shut up. I'm sick of listening to your whining. My head hurts enough just thinking about what these repairs are gonna cost. The last thing I need is to babysit the two of you. Uh, we're back. If I had known I'd be doing this, I would have spent more time at the firing range. Hmm? What's going on? Nothing. Good work. So, who are these guys? She's Momo, and this is Ziggy. Looks so like we're just a group of very Federation normal government. people with normal names around here. Nice to meet you. You two were the ones in the ship out there? Thank you very much for rescuing us. Thanks for your help. They were being held by the UTIC organization, but they managed to escape. The UTIC organization? Captain. <laughs> Never thought I'd have to hear that cursed name again. What is it? That you whatever. Nothing you need to worry about. We'll stop wasting time and plot our course already. You heard him. It's nothing a stupid navigator needs to worry about. Huh. <sighs> Alan, hurry up and clean up the top of the panel. The stuff's in the way. What? You're the one who left these here. Don't take it out on me. This is for you. Thanks, Cosmos. Alan, wake up already. What's wrong with you? He's probably exhausted. <laughs> so now I am. I'm telling you, that was crazy. It was a close one, wasn't it? I gotta say, though, those were some pretty sweet moves out there, old man. Thank you very much. What? Whoa. Hold on a sec. That was you? Well, yes. I handled the flight controls. Ugh. Unbelievable. Shown up by a little girl. Kids these days. That's pretty amazing, <laughs> even for a realian. Hey, that insignia on your uniform. Yes? Is that... Are you from the Mizrahi lab? Yes, I'm a 100... I'm an observational realian. It's okay, you don't have to worry. If you're concerned about government secrets, Cosmos is one too. So, you're a 100 series observational realian from the Mizrahi lab. A Hilbert equipped model, right? Cosmos is equipped with it too, you know. The Hilbert effect. But of course, ours is a Vector original. You're with Vector Industries? 
Yep. So is Alan hey. over there. Leave me alone. By the way, where are you headed? We might be able to get you there for a small fee if it's not too far out of the way. Right, Captain? Yeah, of course. After all, we are in the transport business. Transport? Then could you please take us to Second Mil... Could you please take us to the Second Milshan star system? Second Milshan? You too? What do you mean, you too? Oh, um, it's just a strange coincidence, that's all. Cosmos' new deployment is on Second Milsha also. Hey, that's great. It'll cost less if you're all going the same way, Xion. Well, I suppose that's true. Captain, well, what about ship repairs? Yeah, we gotta take care of that first. Let's stop at a nearby dock colony. That all right with you? Of course. Thank you for taking us. Well, relax and enjoy the trip. Hey, Miss Vector, show them around, would you? Hmm, this being unusually nice. What? I got a booger hanging out of my nose, or...? What? Uh, oh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. All right, then. Shall we go? Momo? Ziggy? being in here because <laughs> yeah give it leave the tour to me the person who still doesn't actually know the way around this place this is the kitchen oh it's cosmos i'll have out too there's no need for additional manpower to complete this task oh uh i'm sorry cosmos that was rude he's just trying to be nice Analysis of the current situation shows that I can manage without the help of others. There is no need to divert more personnel to this location. Uh, she is very, very robotic still. She's so not cute. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. And she's always like this. I'm guessing over the course of the three games, because I'm guessing Xion and Cosmos are going to be main characters for the whole thing. I'm guessing over the course of the uh, story, there's going to be more of Cosmos becoming more human. I have a feeling that's the way it's going to go. She's starting out very robotic now. But by the end, she'll be a normal human. Guess we go upstairs now. So what exactly do we have to do on this tour? Is it just go to every location once? Because usually, when there's a tour in, in, a, in a game, usually it's the NPC is giving us the tour so we know the way around. It's very strange for us to be giving the NPCs a tour when we still don't know the way around ourselves. And also just giving NPCs a tour is just weird on its own. This is cabin two. I'm gonna use this huge cabin by myself. Because I'm a woman. It's more fun to be with everyone. I was a little lonely. Starting today, you'll be with me. So I won't be lonesome anymore. I hope we have good roommates. Momo. Oh, we can just end it here. No, we'll show them around a, at least a little bit more. Just, just a little bit, you know? I'm not going to go perfectionist and go everywhere, but... Let's at least get a little bit, you know? Is there anything special for the other cabin? Which I guess is the guy's cabin. Helen and Commander Cherenkov stay here. It's a wonderful cap. To be fair, it does look pretty nice, honestly. It was originally a luxury space cruiser. That's where there's a high class feel to everything. Interesting. 
see, we do get a little bits of a uh, little bits of lore. I like that. Hello, Robot Pal. Nothing new to say. That's okay. I will save though, because I don't want to have to do that boss fight again. Any scene for the bridge? Let's see. This is the bridge. The frontmost part is the pilot console, and that's Tony's seat. The left front is the navigator seat, that's where Hammer sits. Again, just everyone with very normal names here. <laughs> Hammer. <laughs> like Tony is the only one here that actually has a normal freaking name. The right front is the engineer's control seat. The rear is the fire control seat. And the seat attached to the arms protruding from the left rear area is the captain's seat. That's where Captain Matthews sits. I heard that all the controls can be automated for, for routine voyages. Also, I am still on the lookout for the disarm key or whatever for that bridge. I feel like we should have been able to get it by now, you know what I mean? Luckily, it's not too bad if we miss it though, because. Uh... <laughs> Open such jared flight is strictly prohibited. The Great Matthews. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to be too bad if, if we do miss it, because. Uh... Could probably just come back here through the simulation thing. So if we do miss it, we can just get it later. And that is an interesting way of doing um, a linear progression of areas. So it seems like this, this the, like the actual story and where we go and all that is pretty linear. You know, we go from area to area. And it doesn't seem like we'll be able to go back to old areas freely in the real world. But in order to get around that, they give us the simulation. Which lets us go back to the old areas in a virtual sense. Which I think is quite interesting. Definitely pre preferred over the uh, alternative, which is just everything that you miss is just permanently missed. Oh, I think I'm going to go to bed now. I don't want to wander on this whole ship again. I've done that enough already. Maybe we should call it a day. Yeah, I am sleepy. Respite. So I guess things are going to be chill for a while. It was very dark, and the wind howled horribly around her. She felt as if she were being what? rocked gently like a baby in a cradle. Who are you? Huh. All's quiet after the storm. There's no trace of anything. Over. I wonder, does that lake of darkness where Nero does his fishing something like this you're quite the poet today little master where do you come up with this stuff huh read some books Mary it's good for you books are made from paper little master and they're such a pain to carry around paper and stone tablets last longer than optical data you know besides reading a book helps me get to sleep how's the sensor readout Anything showing up? Nothing at all. It's as if even the atoms are at rest. Not even gas or dust? If it was a giant flare, it should have at least left behind some high energy particles. How could that be? An entire planet was here just a little while ago.
Retrieving little master. Open cargo bay six. Opening cargo bay six. Opening cargo bay six. I mean, I'm just being presumptuous here, but I see the red color scheme and I'm like, are these guys the villains? We still got work to do. He looks like a Utic guy. That outfit looks like a Utic thing, right? Welcome back, little master. Yo. Ariadne's completely vanished. But it doesn't seem like it was destroyed. It's almost as if someone is hiding it somewhere. Hiding it? Where would that be? Who knows? The best way to find out would be to ask the person who's hiding it. Shelly? It's very slight, but I'm getting a reaction from the primer. No question about it. Some kids playing with matches, maybe? What happened to that fleet anyway? We haven't heard anything since we picked up that distress signal six hours ago. Gnosis, huh? Hmm. They must have been totally wiped out. Not necessarily. When the little ones play with fire, you know their folks can't be too far behind. Oh, I get it. So you reckon that the mom is gonna show up soon? Exactly. Change course. Proceed to the last known coordinates of the Federation fleet. It's inevitable. There will always be vermin. I'll leave their extermination to you. Very well. So, do you really think they will show up? Oh, they'll come. After all, that's the reason for their existence. It also happens to be Milcia's Achilles' heel. I'll handle the negotiations with the military. I leave the rest to you. Cherenkov, what is it? The Zohar was taken by the Gnosis. But, but I managed to secure the 100 series Realian. It's currently on board a cargo ship. Headed for the Milshan star system. I believe it is the same one you had secured on Priloma. What do you... Just stick to your duties. What? Don't do anything beyond the scope of your mission. We've already confirmed all the variables. The situation is proceeding according to plan. But, but, but sir... Return to headquarters at once. I'll deal with you then. Understood? Get the registration of the ship that signal came from. Track Cherenkov's marker. Yes, sir. You just love barking out those orders, don't you, Margulis? Show a little love to your dogs, or else they might bite you one day. You. The prototype belongs to me. I've grown bored with these Kirschwassers. So you're going? I think I'm more likely to succeed than your dogs. Ah, yes. Feed me your hostility. Pierce me with your hatred. <laughs> no, wait. Don't worry. I won't get in your way. We're working toward the same goal, right? My adorable little pesh. <laughs> well, he's creepy.
Is it wise to leave this matter to him? I'm not leaving anything to him. He has his uses, that's all. Figures. It's like diving into shark-infested waters with a big juicy steak. Oh, they're on our old ship. Are we gonna be playing as these guys next? Even though they seem like they're the bad guys. I found the remains of a Zohar security ring. I guess this is where they were storing it. Shelly, set the sequencing primer. Roger. Initiating primer walking. Analyzing gate and weight. Yep, those are they're words, already all right. out of range. We're out of luck. Let's hope they're still hanging around nearby. I can't believe you're hoping those things are still here. Aren't you scared, little master? There are plenty of things in this world scarier than the Gnosis. So, how is it? Have they already gone over to the other side? Just hold your horses there, little master. I'm in the middle of analyzing. What? What is it? Emergency alert! Looks like someone got here before us! It appears we're completely surrounded. Using short jumps, eh? <laughs> That's pretty damn clever. Little Master, are they? Yeah, no question about it. They're from Utic. Oh, you're not from Utic. Then why you why does your coat look like it's from Utic? 